You guys, today is a really exciting day because today is February 15th and we are going to be planting eucalyptus seeds. Oh, first of all, let's say hi to Jameson. Jameson, say hi to my friends. He says hello. So I've been looking forward to this day for so long because it says on here that you have to sow indoors February 15th. So today is February 15th. Let's get to it. <laughs> So I bought my seeds from Stokes. You might have remembered from a previous video that I posted before. Um, I bought them online, stokesseeds.com, I believe it is, or .ca. And in this pack comes 250 seeds, as you can see here. And they come in this little packet, quite a bit of seeds, and they're tiny. It doesn't look like 250 seeds, but I can guarantee you there are 250 seeds in that pack. So... We're going to start with this seed starting mix, which I also shared before. I got it off of Amazon. It's miracle Grow Seed Starting Mix. I'll leave the link below if you want to check it out. Um, I found it to be pretty good so far. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to actually take some hot water and I'm going to put it on top of the soil. I've seen this done by many um, seed starters, and I guess it's to kill any bad bugs that may be in the soil. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to take these sticks that I have and I'm gonna mix it around. The reason why I'm doing it with the sticks and not my hands is because I couldn't find any gloves. <laughs> so I figured this is a great way to go ahead and mix up the soil. I'm gonna add a little bit more as I don't think I added enough at the beginning. And just mix it around there. You can see it's pretty warm. You can see the steam coming off of it. And I really like the soil. Like it's, I've said it before in my previous videos, but it's pretty good soil. So I'm gonna put it down just for it to cool off a bit. And I'm just gonna wipe down the table because it got pretty dirty. So now I'm grabbing my pots. Some of them I did get off of Amazon. Once again, I'll link it in the description below. And the pots here that I have, I decided that I was gonna go and add rocks at the bottom. Again, another um, YouTuber had suggested doing this when starting seeds. And so I'm just placing these rocks at the bottom. I think it helps with not allowing the soil to just come through the bottom because the thing with these planters is that they have really big holes at the bottom so sometimes I find when I do put soil inside of them the soil does come from the bottom so I'm hoping that these seeds do help with that not seeds these rocks help with that so I'm gonna put down this paper towel here so that I can start placing the seeds on top it makes it easier for me to see the seeds Okay, I'm not going to use the whole pack of the 250 seeds, but I'll use quite a few. I don't think I have enough pots to use all 250 seeds, so I'll leave some and use them another time. See, I've left quite a few here. Yeah, I can't really see it, but there's quite a few left in there. There you go. They're so tiny. They're so easy to lose. But check them out. Look how tiny these little guys are. They look like little ants. Little ant babies. But they're little eucalyptus baby seeds. I'm obsessed with baby blue eucalyptus. So I'm going to see if I can plant them myself. So I hope you guys stick through and cross your fingers with me that we do pretty well with planting them. Alright, so I'm just going to go get my cup so that I can scoop up the soil that I have and place them into little planters. So this, the soil had some time to cool down, so it's not as hot. It's still pretty warm, but not as hot as it was before. See, it's pretty moist, which is awesome. 
I'm hoping if there is any bad things in the soil that the hot water killed it. Just go through that. I'm just going to fill all the planters. I actually don't think I put enough soil into that bucket um, for all the planters that I have, which is pretty unfortunate, but I'll fill them up later. gets pretty sticky once it's wet obviously so I had to use my sticks just to get some more soil out. It started to get difficult the closer that I got to the bottom. Alright I'm gonna use the bottom of the cup and I'm just gonna flatten them a bit. So that's easier for me to see the seeds when I do plant them. Alright, so let's get our seeds. So we have the seeds here, and I'm just going to take my fingers and I'm going to pick them up. This is difficult, they're so small. I'm just going to pick them up, put them in the middle of my hand and then place them on top of the bed of soil. Wow, I just lost one. <laughs> These things are tiny, you guys. It's not really easy at all. Just using my fingers, scooping them up, and placing them on the bed of soil, just right on top. Didn't make any holes or anything, I'm just placing them right on top because they're tiny enough. They don't really need to be there's, I don't need to put any holes into the soil in order to sow them, which is great. Just place them right on top. I feel like there might be an easier way to collect seeds, but I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> I would say I'm putting about 10 seeds per little pot. Um, I know that not all of them are going to survive, so I'm just going to put uh, about 10, and I think that'll be good. But can you imagine if all of them were to come alive and become beautiful plants? That would be nice. Alright, so there are still some leftover seeds, which I'm just going to place to the side. And I will use those later. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little cup and I'm going to take some more of that seed starting mix. Not the wet one, just the dry one. And I'm going to start sprinkling it on top of the soil with the seeds. Just gently sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And that's why I didn't have to make the holes in the soil to place the plants because all I need to do is sprinkle lightly um, some of this seed starting mix and they'll, they'll, they'll grow.
Okay. I'm going to grab my handy dandy spray bottle and spray them. Just moisten the soil a bit. Don't want to drown the seeds. Wow. Well, I'm just going to have to grab It's going to be easier if I pick them up. There we go. Just moisten the soil. After this is done, I'm going to put labels on each one of the um, the containers. Put the date, what they are, what seeds they are, so I don't get them mixed up with my other seeds. As some of you guys may know, I am planting other seeds, and you can check them out in my channel. I'll post the link above, right here. Um, I'm going to label them, and I'm going to put some saran wrap with some holes on top, and I'm going to place them in a warm spot. My warm spot is near my fireplace. Wish me luck, guys! Yay!